everybody to our Facebook Live segment this week. It is Friday night, and I'm glad that you're sitting here with me before you go out on the town and get your groove on. Tonight, we're going to talk about a few things. We've got some short stories, a tip and trick, and we're going to discuss what is a therapy dog. So let's get started. First off, I want to remind you guys that we are also on Dog Works Radio. My show is called The Daily Dog. It runs about four days a week, so uh, we hope you start tuning in and catching those shows as well. There's a lot of information that I go over on The Daily Dog. There's also a lot of shows on Dog Works Radio, on our sh- on our show Dog Works radio that talks about all kinds of other topics as well there's a show called mushing radio that some of you may be interested in so go over and check that out at dogworksradio.com um but let's go into our short story our short story tonight is going to be about watson watson joined our lead dog service dog program about five and a half six months ago And he arrived from Rocky Mountain German Shepherd in Colorado. And he is in training to be a medical support dog for a young man in Cordova. That we're really excited about helping. He's 13. And Watson is going to be his best buddy. But not only that, he's going to watch out for him and make sure that he stays safe. So... Watson left today on a plane to Cordova with the family and he's getting to hang out with everybody tonight and learn his new home and his new yard and all about his little boy that he's going to spend the next 16 weeks with and working with them. We're going to be doing training over Portal Plus. We're excited about that. We had mentioned earlier this year, end of last year, that we were going to start working with a Portal Plus to provide virtual training. So that's going to start with Watson. And it should be a lot of fun. And we'll do some updates and let you guys know how that's going in case you're interested in doing any virtual training with us here at Alaska Dog Works. My tip and trick today is about how do I get my dog to stop barking while he's in his crate? So when I work with young dogs, puppies in particular, we crate train them. We utilize the crate for a lot of different reasons. You can check out a daily dog show. Uh, We had a week or so ago about the crate, introducing the crate to your dog. Um, But basically... Sometimes puppies bark in their crate. They bark when they see you. They bark when they can't see you. They bark for attention. They bark because they need to go potty. They bark just to hear themselves bark sometimes. The best way you can do it is to cover them with a blanket and start using the word quiet. When they are being quiet, you're going to say good, quiet. When they're not, you're going to say no, quiet in a growly kind of a voice. Um, so I also have them in an area of the home where we can see them and they can see us and they start to understand that they don't always need to be jumping on us or in our arms or constantly touching us to be okay. This teaches them that they can see us, hear us and watch us and not always have to have that constant attention. So to give it a try. Um, if you need a little bit more help on those types of things with the barking dog in the crate, give us a call and I'd be happy to help you out. The next part of our program tonight is going to be about what is a therapy dog. So at Alaska Dog Works, I developed a program for therapy dogs called Dogs Assisting with Grace. We call it DOGS for short. And it's a program I implemented and developed about 10 years ago in Colorado. And it's mostly for medical professionals, psychiatrists, therapists, um, those people that need or want a, a therapy dog in their offices. And we work with them in a way that they can use the dog to help their patients. And in an unfamiliar setting, um, dentists have used it. Uh, like I said, therapists, psychologists have used it. But our biggest success has been with a church ministry that developed the program with me to have 10 of their 
uh, missions go out with the Meals on Wheels group and provide therapy dog services with the clients that were receiving the Meals on Wheels. So it was a very successful program. It's still ongoing today. And that program started in Colorado in 2009. So I'm pretty proud of it. If you join us for a therapy dog training program, you get a little booklet. We go through the training. A lot of it's hands-on. A lot of it can be done on your own just by going through the booklet. At the end, you'll get a little patch like this, and then you'll be able to take your dog out to volunteer at local places like nursing homes and things like that. But again, my program is more designed for uh, individuals in the medical field and practice already. Providence Hospital has their own therapy dog training program, so they don't like other people to come in and, and have their dogs trained with an outside servicer, so keep that in mind. A therapy dog is different than a service dog in one way. A therapy dog does not provide services for you. A therapy dog goes and visits others and helps them get over something emotional, um, brings life back to their life on a, you know, if they've undergone something tragic or traumatic, they can help them through that. So the therapy dog is a dog that you own that you've had trained to meet certain certifications. And you, again, you take that dog to visit others. The other program that we facilitate here in Alaska is through the Intermountain Read. And that's where we teach your therapy dog how to go do reading with kids at the library and other schools. So it's a, it's a fun program and it's pretty interesting. If you'd like more information about that, click on this and send me a comment or you can Facebook message us privately and I will get in touch with you and see if you'd like to join our Dogs Assisting with Grace program. Thanks for listening to our Facebook Live session tonight. We're trying to get better. We always have some sort of technical difficulty, so bear with us. We do enjoy you coming on and watching and giving us feedback. Thanks a lot. Have a great Friday night.